I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air. Like hey, everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the jerk and what to watch out for when performing it. A lot of the time, there's just little things that some people may not be executing properly and this is causing them to miss the lift. So some things that I focus on when I'm performing the jerk is one, you want to stay as linear and vertical as possible. And what I mean by that is you want to minimize the horizontal, kind of these lateral movements your body can move through. So a lot of times you'll see people in their dip, if they rush it or if they don't know how to properly execute, their knees may shift forward or their body might seem to you know squiggle around rather than doing a direct dip straight down and then right back up and a lot of the times this causes the bar to loop forward so a good way to practice this is we unrack the bar and from here we want to dip slowly until we hit our our desired position whatever works for you until you feel those quads loaded, practice that dip, pause, and then just stand right back up. You can do that about five to 10 times for your warm up, and that should give you a good sense of where you wanna be dipping to that works for you best. So you'll see a lot of different athletes have two different two styles of jerk. They'll have the very quick dip, or they'll have the more controlled dip uh, type of jerk. And you can see this in people like uh, Lydia Valentine from Spain has a very very short dip but then people like Klokov will have more of a slow descent and then still finish at, uh, with the same explosive nature. When people transition under the bar you want to make sure especially when the weights get heavy you're pushing yourself under the bar and what I mean by this is you, people aren't using their arms to jerk over 500 pounds it's that would be insane and it's unrealistic to think that people do that what they're doing as as soon as they finish their extension so on their way up from the dip at the same time they're pushing against the bar so similar to kind of uh, similar to what you do in the snatch and the clean and they are using that bar to move themselves lower so a lot of times you'll see where people dip from their starting head position and when they finish will be lower and I would say that's one of the best strategies for adding some weight on your jerk right away. 